Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Journey of Life. It's a new game that just came out on Steam a couple of days ago. It's actually in early access right now and as you can tell it is a uh, open world sandbox survival game. Uh, we are currently on an island right now. It's, uh, it's island's actually a lot bigger than it looks. Uh, but there are apparently other islands. I think there's like nine islands total. It's not procedurally generated currently it could be it's just a static map but that may change in the future and then basically each island is its own biome as you can tell by that rocky monstrosity over there which is completely different than the little island we're on here uh it is quite extensive as far as crafting goes and we'll go up into here this is our inventory we only have two hand slots we don't carry two things on us currently uh, that's where the backpack comes in. We'll get into that pretty quick. And then uh, that's our gear. Uh, it shows you items that are nearby on the ground. So you can uh, see what's available, pick them up, drag them into your inventory, and it'll actually allow you to craft with what's in the uh, current area. Uh, this is our current crafting menu. As you can see, just some basic stuff we can make. Uh, tools, craftables, stations, pottery, and so on and so forth. And there's also technology. Now, the t so far, there isn't too much it's a lot of basic stuff like as you can see we got uh you can get to like grindstone to repair our tools uh there's apparently modular tools we can make and you get down into here and then we get into composting for for farming and yeah it's uh, like i said it is early access so you can have some issues from time to time but yeah it's pretty good there's even uh currently there's uh wind and water power so there are is mechanical power to run some of the machines like uh powered crushers and stuff like that uh they are planning on adding oops uh getting into like oil production and stuff like that but so far we're up into iron age so it's it's not too bad and then basically all you're going doing as you can see you go to interact you can harvest with e and you can't hold it, you have to actually really press it, and as you can see, stuff drops on the ground. Uh, I don't have too much inventory space, but we're going to go ahead and start making some of these things. Uh, I don't get them from here, I'm just giving you an idea of what happens. So, that's the wrong button. Um, yeah, no, that's the right one. Inventory. So, and as you can see, it shows me nearby, there's a palm leaf here, there's a palm tube. It's not showing the coconut for some reason, though. I don't know why, but you can not actually pick that up. As you can see, you can right-click on it, use it. It tells you what it gives you. It gives you some water, some stamina, health, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there is also a cooking involved in the game, and so on and so forth. But as you can see, there are some question marks, so we'll go check them out. I have done most of this already. I was trying to not play too much because I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself because this actually looks really interesting. So then we go up here, salty water. Salty water, you can drink it by using E, which is not a good idea. And then you, if you collect it in a, a clay jug, which we'll make soon, you'll be able to turn it to salt, which I guess we get used for cooking. And so on and so forth. We run over here and we'll go check out this one here. And this is Journey of Life. This is our this is your new homeland. Uh, use tab to open yada yada yada. I already showed that. Uh, open inventory, crafting, and tech and all that stuff. And basically explains everything I showed here and talked about here where you can click and drag you can shift and click or you can just pick it up using E and this is our crafting we'll get into that eventually uh, that's gonna be next on the agenda this is just explaining everything I just explained to you which I should have waited but it also has a really interesting building mechanic too it's uh, sort of modular like um, different foundations and stuff like that but there's actually quite a bit you can actually craft which I will show you in a second here. So these are different textures we can, things we can build with right now. There's uh, clay, there's planks, there's bricks. We have to actually make bricks to use this. And then there's just thatch, which it uses uh, these birch sticks we'll come across. But there are also lots of different things we can actually build, like different stairs, we can mirror stuff and... All that stuff. So it's actually quite interesting. Then when you place something down, you actually have to use a hammer and have the materials on you to actually finish the structure. So that is good. Uh, keep in mind too, as I mentioned already, this is early access. So there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of things that may or may not be there or may be unexpected. Anyways, uh, first thing we got to do is craft a backpack. And I know we can get the sticks from the tree, the, the ficus here. So we'll go ahead and sorry, scratch my must my lip there. Scratch. Uh, harvest of my ficus which will get us plant fibers which can make it turn into rope and give us some sticks 
Uh, there's different types of rocks, different types of sticks, different types of leaves. Uh, it is somewhat complex, but as you can see, I went and craft that. And so that on the ground, there's jagged rocks, there's small jagged rocks, medium jagged rocks, there's different types of rocks, different types of sizes. Uh, we got our birch sticks, we have ficus leaves, plant fibers, and straight solid stick. So we want to go ahead and make a backpack because that's going to help us a lot with the inventory here. So what do we need for the backpack? We need two leaves and two fiber rope. And I know where the leaves are. And the leaves, because I had trouble finding them because I didn't know I was supposed to go looking around for all these question marks. We'll actually grab this one first. What does it say? Trees. Yes, it just tells us to cut down trees, which we make an axe for. And then this one here was about the berry bush. Fruits. Yeah, there's fruits around. There is farming, so we can actually start growing things down the road. Um, I think there's supposed to be animal breeding at some point, too. So it's pretty good. There are some animals. We have, we have rabbits, boars, and I think there's supposed to be wolves at night. I'm not too sure. But then we get over here, and these are the uh, alcoa leaves that we need. And we're going to need these for our first bed as well. Oh. Alocasia. There's an interesting name. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. We can also harvest this with an axe, but for some reason, unless it was just that save that was bugged, it seems to be quicker to do it by hand. And I love how I'm doing this with a coconut in my hand. And go ahead and we'll pick those up. As you can see, we've got a flat rock there, and we have high density rocks. I'm going to take those plant fibers too, because we'll need those for rope. Okay, and then we run back down here, and yes, there's bamboo too. I don't think we can cut those ones down, but uh, some of them we can. That's another bush. Get palm trees, and the logs can be cut down at different sizes, and you can take the log blocks, put them on a chopping block, cut them into half sections, then quarter sections, use them as firewood and stuff like that. So it's it's quite interesting. So now i got to go back over here. Uh, also, too, if you hold down Alt, uh, if you're supposed to... If you hold alt, it's supposed to highlight all the nearby enemy items. There we go. So that actually shows me what's available to me for crafting. So we'll go back in here. We'll go to crafting. We need... Oh, I only picked up one leaf. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't always pick up everything, I've noticed. So it's usually better to click and drag. It's not taking all of them. Oh, because they're not in the same stack. Uh, there are stack limits, like the leaves I think can only be three at a time. So we'll run over here, we'll go and make our go and make our backpack after we make some rope. Go to craftables, make two rope. And my crafting is bugged. Oh, inventory space. That might help. Uh, let's put those up in my hand here. Oh, did I bug the game out? I think I did. Oh. Hang on a sec. Like I said, early access. I'm going to see if I save and reload will fix this. Okay, I've reloaded, and it is no longer in my crafting queue. So, I think it's because I clicked twice... I double clicked too fast. Anyway, so we can go here, go to our tools, we can make our backpack. That was probably my fault there, the button didn't work. Uh, sometimes when I click, I, I uh, tend to move the mouse. So we get this, uh, we do have some storage too. Uh, a lot of the things can be upgraded, and uh, I'll show you that once we get into the, the whatchamacallit there, the workbench. Alright, and there we go. Now we have an extra 10 slots for our inventory. So we can go up here, we can shift click everything, pick everything up. So we need to get into start making tools. Now let's first make the axe, because the axe is going to help us get wood. So the axe, we need another fiber rope, we need a medium sharpened rock, and I think we can make that here. And for that we need one high density rock and one jagged medium rock. Craft that, and that makes a sharpened rock. Then we can go here, and then we're going to make another plant fiber, or fiber rope. And go back to tools, and we make our axe. I said we'd make our axe. 
Now it does have durability. It doesn't show the durability on here, but as you can see, there's different stats. Uh, the little wrench icon is basically your durability indicator. I don't know how far, how long you can actually use it. If you go in here though, uh, hang on, go back in here. It's not going to show it to me, is it? Yeah, a little bugged. Uh, anyway, so we got our axe, so we can uh, go back into the inventory. Uh, I'll put it on the hotbar for now, so we can equip it. And now we need to make a few more tools. So we'll go back into crafting. So we need to make a hammer. We need to make a pickaxe, and we make a shovel. So I am going to need some more straight solid sticks and some more fibers. So let's go over here. We'll cut this down. As you can see, it's, uh, oh, my other axe must have been bugged because it wasn't doing as much this this ficus. I'll go ahead and uh, almost done. All right, how many st straight sticks do I got? I got four of that. And as you can see, it's not, it only does one at a time. Uh, let's see, okay, so I got the sticks. I need more high density rocks and plant fibers. Got plant fibers there. We have plant fibers here, so we can go ahead and make some more rope. Definitely gonna need a lot of rope. Go back to tools. What can we make? We can make the shovel now. Okay, then we need a pickaxe. We need two small sharpened rocks. And for that, I need high density rocks. Now, the high density rocks are actually pretty easy to see. That they're these ones here. We'll take that and we'll grab that one. And that should get us two small sharpened rocks. Which should get us our pickaxe, which I haven't actually used yet because uh, I had trouble finding the, finding the iron. But I know where the iron is now. It's actually going to be right next to the clay. Uh, being a static map, everything is in the same spot. And I have enough to make a hammer. Cool. And there we go. Crafting complete. So now it wants us to make a uh, campfire. Uh, check my inventory space, I am good. Now it took me a while to figure this one out and uh, I didn't know about the, the yuccas here. Uh, this is actually where you're supposed to get the dry wood stick and the dry wood base. And I didn't know that I had to go on a steam to figure it out. I didn't even think about trying to cut this down. But you figure dry wood, you, you would almost think that'd be like driftwood or something, something on the beach. Anyways, and I didn't get anything out of that. All right, well, there's another one up here. And uh, yeah, the plants are pretty much in the same spot. Fortunately, I haven't explored too much, so I don't really know what's around. Let's see what this tip is. Boars. Uh, great source of meat. Yeah, 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 they tend to be aggressive and they'll lead you to water which is good. So there was another yucca over here. These ones are deceptive because that's not actually the, actually the yucca. Neither is this one here. And I have no idea what it wants me to harvest there. But this is a yucca and you can tell by the, the furry trunk and the tool tip that comes up if you're close enough. Now hopefully the developer is going to adjust the drop rate on these things because if it's RNG then you may never find what you're looking for. But I did find a dry wood base and a dry wood stick. So we have that. So now we gotta collect some rocks. Oh, where'd the bunny go? I admit he did a really good job on the rabbits. Okay, let's uh, head back down to our little beach here. I'm probably gonna stay here and just because those are weird looking crabs. They're not like stranded deep. They don't pinch you though, I don't think. I wonder if we can ride them. Come on, crab. Come on. You getting my uh, form of transportation? Uh, bounce right off them. Anyways, <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, high density rocks. Okay, there's a rock. There's two of them apparently. There's a couple more over here. They're everywhere. 
and I have no inventory space. Now this is something interesting too about, uh, well, I could actually craft it from here I think, yeah, because it's on the ground. Uh, to place objects on the ground is actually really interesting, you actually drag it out of your inventory and you place where you want on the ground. So I can put the leaves over there, I can put the coconut over here if I want. So it, uh, for the people that like to keep things organized, this comes in really handy. But anyways, let's go ahead and craft that. And just like so, we go over here. So now I gotta get my hammer on the hotbar. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the hammer and the, the axe. And there we go. So now, it, as you can see, it show the arrow that you see there is for upgrading. We'll get to that event a little later. Well, I should do that now because it makes things a little easier. Uh, there you go, you just swing it with a hammer, as long as you have the materials on you, and there we go. Now, we could, uh, it tells you your fuel level, uh, I'd imagine durability for damage and stuff like that. Then you go up here to upgrade, and we'll actually do this, and this will actually give us a fire spin. So I need four straight sticks, I have two. Uh, let's see if we can find any more around here. There's none there. There was some up by the yucca, I do believe. Uh, let's see what's over here. Nothing. I actually like that, being able to hit tab and actually see what's on the ground. But let's go check out this other yucca here. Uh, I don't know if this stuff actually grows back or not, so... That's something to think about. Now, where was this thing? I think it was over here. There it is. And I got six of them. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to grab a flat rock too. I almost want to catch one of the bunnies. And yeah, grab that. Because I'm going to get a little ahead of the game here. Uh, I also got to make a bed too. It's going to get dark pretty quick. Alright. So, now we are here. I got the sticks. We go ahead and finish building this. And then now I need a stone wheel. Now a stone wheel I can actually should be able to build in here. No, I can't. That's going to be... That's going to be the workbench. We'll get into that in a second here. Oh, I have to collect one more rock. Uh, I don't know why it did... Oh, yeah, because I didn't actually have it on me. There we go. So now we need a fire starter. Uh, where's my fire? Over here. And that's what I needed the dry wood base and dry wood stick for. That's the fire starter. So now that is crafted. So quest complete. Next, we need the workstation. This is where things start to get quite interesting. So we got our stations here, fireplace workstation. And I need more sticks to go figure. Uh, where would I get those? Let's see if we can find another yuck up here. Uh, as far as I know, things will not despawn, so we can just leave them laying around. So now, where is the yucca? Because I think that's the only place you can get them from. I think you can get a random chance of them dropping from the bushes, but... Might actually do that, because we can use the the birch sticks for building a little, little shelter. So we'll run back down here, because I got all these bushes. I want to get them all cleared out eventually anyways. Wrong tool. Now, nah, this should get me some sticks. Oh, and as you can see, I am getting thirsty. Fortunately, we have coconuts. And also, above the, the water, you see the, the stamina meter. Uh, you actually use stamina using tools. Alright, so I have the sticks. What am I missing for the... Oh, I need ten. Okay, so I need one more. One more. Uh, let's get down a tree and get some coconuts. Because I need to get something to drink. And... Uh, there we go. I'll go over here. I sh oh, come here, come here, come here. I need you. I need you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I hit E on the water and I drank it. Anyway. Okay, use all, you right click on it, and you can use or use all like you can with most games, and it gives me a little bit of water. So now, I need one more stick. I'm going to cut down this bush. 
cut down this bush with an axe, not a hammer. That's so far, you know, like I said, I'm actually quite interested in how this is turning out. Uh, especially considering the fact that the developer wants to get into, like, actual... Oh, yeah, you can destroy stuff, too. Actual proper power generation and whatnot. So, I need... We need a workstation. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and build places somewhere. You can hold... Oh, that's not it. Ah, I was going to say you can hold right-click to rotate, but that's not the case. Just tab out of there and place it. So now we go back to our hammer, which is on number two. And then we finish it up. And this is where I can show you how in-depth things can get. So we have our workstation. Same thing too, we can upgrade it. I'm not going to do that because that needs, I think that needs like 25 sticks and I'm not hunting all that down. So we'll go ahead and access it. So then here we go. This is all the things we can build in here. Uh, next we're going to be collecting clay to start making our water, our clay pot here. And then shows our tools, basically the same thing, except there's an actual fish net we can make in here. Uh, weapons, it's re really basic stuff right now. And then stations, and then this is, like I said, ore crushing stations, smelting furnace, uh, composter, water collector, farm utility plots, uh, woodworks for creating like planks and grinding stuff, cloth maker. And as you can see, it's quite interesting. That we, like this is our chest right now, nine slots, but if I upgrade the, the workbench, then I can make an even better chest that's actually bigger. But uh, let me check the recording time. I think we're just about done on this one here. Yeah, we're just about there. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll finish up our um, Finish up our, our little stove there. Yes, our campfire. Uh, eat the yeah. All right, so hammer, and there we go. So this is that. That is our fireplace. Now, for burnables, you can use st sticks. You can also use logs and stuff like that. I'm going to use the sticks for now just to get this fire lit. Go ahead and pick up some of those and some of those. And then we go over here. And this is all you got to do is you just basically drag and drop. And as you can see, it actually automatically adds a fuel in the fire. Go ahead and equip our fire starter. And that's all we have to do. As you can see, there's going to be a temperature gauge there. Uh, as the fuel goes down, the temperature does go down. You'll need to have certain temperatures to bake clay, cook food, boil water. Uh, this water here, we boil it can only get salt out of that but there's fresh water up there somewhere over there and that's for for drinking you boil it and it becomes clean and so on and so forth and now one last thing i want to do and we'll do this now because it's getting dark we're going to make ourselves a bed now currently until i make the next tier bench uh, this is what we make our bed out of we sleep on uh, alocasio leaves. I'll just call them leaves. Easier to say. Uh, yeah, that's that. I need one more because I think we need six for this thing. I don't know what else we need these leaves for, but we might as well grab all we can, right? That was actually something I wanted to check. I never did check in the. Uh, and the upgraded crafting bench is if we can get a bigger backpack. Or if there's an actual way to upgrade this one, and there isn't. Not that I know of, anyways. But so now, all that's left to do. Can I actually make the new bed in here? Uh, I don't think so. It's not even showing me it in here. I thought I could make the bed in this one. I think I need a tier two for that. All right. Well, let's get out of there. Let's go into crafting. Uh, where was this thing? Where is my bed? Not under tools. Stations. No. Oh, I didn't mean to click. Well, it's got to be in. Got to be in here. 
you know, there's an actual bed you can build, and it's nothing more than leaves on the ground. There it is, primitive bed. Yeah, I'll go ahead and build this, and we'll get ourselves a nice little spot near the fire. And use Q and E to rotate. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get the hammer and hammer those leaves together. So now we have a spawn point and we can go to sleep. And then we choose how long you want to sleep for. We'll sleep eight hours and not quite morning. The fire is still going, so that's good. Well, anyways, I think it's a good place to call this one. Uh, like I said, it's definitely an interesting game, and I can't wait to really get into this. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.